Hello and welcome to my channel Luna the Moon Tarot. So uh, today we'll be doing the love reading for the month of December for my Cancerians here. So let's see what is it what is going to happen in the life of my dear Cancerians in the month of December here. Give me one card. This could be the one. You have already met the romantic partner you seek. I somehow feel... Uh, so this also came up in... I think... Uh, yeah, so this also came up when I was reading for my Aries sign. So probably you are... The person that you are involved with, about to get involved with, is an Aries. Let's see. This could be the one you have already met the romantic partner you seek so that person is already in your energy field not about to enter but you have already met them probably they are already uh, you have already uh, you know you are already in a relationship with them either or you have already met them and probably you haven't noticed them or probably you have but they this person is already in your energy field and this person could be the one one card for my dear Cancerians here on their love life for the month of December. For Cancerians on their love life for the month of December, please. For Cancerians on their love life for the month of December, please. For Cancerians on their love life for the month of December, please. For Cancerians on their love life for the month of December, please. The situation will improve. I guess uh, there is some kind of situation that you are going through right now in your personal life. And hence it is being advised that don't worry. The situation is going to get improved. There is something better. I think uh, whatever you are going through right now. Right. Probably in your current relationship. For few of the people. Not everybody. But there, there is something which is going on. And the situation will improve. You have already met this current person. And you being advised that there is something better. So you need to close the chapter here. Close whatever you're thinking about. Even if it's some kind of family issue or something. You're dwelling upon. You've been advised that you know the situation will improve. And there is something better which is coming in. Or heading towards in your life right now. Right. So let's see what is it. So I'll be pulling three cards here. First, middle and ten days. Last ten days of December. On your love life. This is for my dear Cancerians. Give me three cards. First, middle and last 10 days of December on, on their love life. Give me three cards. This is for my dear Cancerians. First, middle and last 10 days of December, please. Give me three cards. First, middle and last 10 days of December, please. First, middle and last 10 days of December, please. Give me three cards. First, middle and last 10 days of December, please. Give me three cards, first, middle and last 10 days of December, please. On their love life, this is for my dear Cancerians. First, middle and last 10 days of December, please. Three cards, first, middle and last 10 days of December. Give me three cards, please. Love life of Cancerians. First, middle and last 10 days of December. First, middle, and last 10 days of December, please. First, middle, and last 10 days of December, please. First, middle, and last 10 days of December, please. First, middle, last 10 days. Two more cards. Middle, last 10 days, please. Okay. So, first, middle, last 10 days of December. Queen of Pentacles for the first 10 days, middle of uh, middle 10 days is 8 of Pentacles and last 10 days is Queen of Swords. Bottom of the deck is 10 of Swords. 
I think you're dealing with Aries. Some what similar cards came out for Aries as well here. Okay, so Ten of Swords here. Uh, I see somewhere down the line you have been somewhere down the line. Um, I see that you guys, uh, dear Cancerians, you were go, you have gone through a lot of mental conflicts, challenges, problems, adversity in this particular connection, right? Or probably in your past relationship, I I see you very tensed, a very tensed energy. I see the pro the person that you were connected with in your past had a devil energy here. There was some kind of addiction issues. There was some kind of probably that person was abusive in nature, and then you know you met this new energy, right? And I, I feel that this person was kind of very abusive and you never thought that this person will come out to be this uh, uh, very abusive. This person as in your past person. Probably you were connected with somebody not in a relationship or probably even if you were thinking about a relationship, that person came out to be a, something different, someone different. And you, because of that person, you have gone through a lot of mental conflicts. You know, you had, you have had, a, you know, you've had sleepless nights and you felt cheated and stranded all of a sudden. Because somehow, I feel that even if you were not in a relationship with this person, but then you had very high hopes and this person kind of cheated you. Showed you dreams wherein they wanted to get married with you. Probably you connected with this person through some app. I don't know why I'm saying this thing, but I feel that you met this person through a third party app, you know, the dating app. And they told you something that this is what they are looking for. But then they came out to be something else. And you had your hopes up high from this person. And because of which you got hurt. You got hurt. Right. So dear Cancerian, uh, you were not in a relationship, but then still you were... Uh, in a relationship because you were expecting a lot of this person and you got emotionally attached pretty soon from this person with this person right at the bottom of the deck i see 10 of swords i feel that this connection that you were into or you are into it totally exhausted you and you are walking away you're totally walking away you have already walked away and there was a beginning that happened within this period time frame only and another energy that stepped in in your life which is this energy this could be the one right so i feel right now you're juggling with two energies in your life one energy that you were totally focused upon in your uh, in, in your recent past and one energy which has entered but then you're ha you are kind of stuck in your mind and you were kind of having sleepless night anxieties and you know you kind of you have you have literally you know you were you are right now juggling with your thought process the new person and the recent past person the first 10 days i see that uh, you're in a queen of pentacle energy wherein you feel that the person that you were dealing with is quite shrewd they are very self-centered and uh, selfish they are only thinking about themselves but then they are not thinking about you right they are not thinking about you they are not uh, thinking about your or you know they are not uh, thinking about your emotions they are not thinking about what you are going through because of them but then i see i feel that you are feeling that this person is very selfish in the first 10 days you are becoming very grounded you are becoming a little logical here and i feel that you feel that you know what is the use if i'm not able to get a commitment from this particular person right so you are into that mode wherein uh you have decided that either if i get a commitment either i get to hear this thing from the person's mouth or i will have to move on here right so i see there, there's a moving on in moving on energy for sure and and i feel that you know you are into that particular mode that i'm moving on and if this person wants to stop me, that person will have to give me a commitment, a solid commitment out here for me to stay. 
middle 10 days of december i see eight of pentacles here again i somehow feel that you know in the middle 10 uh, in the middle 10 uh, in the middle 10 days you are working very hard probably you're working very hard and juggling between these two personalities these two person who have entered in your life the past person which you are st still dealing with and this person and apart from that you're also working very hard on your job you're concentrating on your job because whatever uh you know mental uh peace that you have lost you somehow feel that you know i need to direct divert my mind in my work so that i am able to come out of this particular uh emotional trauma or i am able to come out of this emo uh, this emotional uh, baggage because of that person right so that is how you're dealing with in the middle 10 days of december then towards the last 10 days of december i see you you are waiting for an answer for a direction and you have become a little uh, cold towards this person towards both the energy and i think that you are not saying goodbye to the new energy you're keeping that as well but then you are more focused on your past energy you're keeping the new energy as well so that you are able to divert your mind but then you are still not able to divert your mind you have become a little cold towards the new energy and towards your past energy as well both and you are thinking in a very practical and logical way and you're waiting for some kind of direction or decision or some kind of uh you know revelation to come towards you you are literally waiting so that is for my cancer sign thank you so much everybody for watching uh for cross watches please do like share subscribe to my channel anybody who's looking for a personal reading do dm me I'll be happy to assist you on my Instagram, Luna the Moon Tarot page. Uh, the link is in my bio and in the description as well. Everybody, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Do like, share, subscribe, and uh, hit the notification bell. Bye bye.